let's find the probability for a sum of two dice. We're going to be looking at this example where we're looking for the probability that two dice sum to seven. We're going to need that probability formula that says that the probability of any event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. I want to focus on the total number of outcomes first. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this. One is to think about your first dice and your second. And I know that that first one can be anything from one to six, and then I can pair any of those numbers, one through six, with one through six on the second dice, and so on. Well, this is a little bit cumbersome, so instead we can use our multiplication principle, where we're going to take the number of ways that we can get on that first dice, which would be a six, and then we're going to multiply that by the number of ways that we can roll that second dice which is another six, giving us a number of total outcomes of 36. There's one more way that you can get there, and that's if you happen to have a grid that has all of those outcomes. So we've matched our first dice with the second dice, and these are all the pairs that we can get, which gives us a total of 36. Now let's focus on that numerator. So how many of those 36 pairs add up to seven. Now I can use that grid again. So if you're lucky enough to have that grid, you can count up those pairs that add up to seven. But if you happen to not have a grid, that's okay too. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a chart. And I'm just going to match up numbers that we can get on that first dice, one through six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go ahead and match them with numbers on the second dice that add up to seven. So I could do a one and a six because those add up to seven. I could do a two and a five, a three and a four, a four and a three, a five and a two, or a six and a one. Such an easy way to come up with those six different possible outcomes. With those six possible outcomes, I get my answer favorable over total, which is six out of 36, which reduces to our answer of one six. You're doing so great. Take a look at this next video.